Okay. I need to automate liquid meat. So to do that, you take a golden egg, right click it in the middle, and it'll start spawning a lot of passive mobs. And uh, solder factory to kill it, or kill them, and then it'll spit out liquid meat and pink slime. So basically all I gotta do now is just go for it. Right, so that's going there. It's getting pink slime. Let's go under here. Oop, can't. Alright, let's go out. Okay, so now they're automatically getting sent into the system. Now, you see the grass right here? The grass will actually prevent more spawning. So, to combat that, you set up a redstone clock hooked into a dispenser to briefly um, I actually want to see how much it's giving so you set up a redstone clock to briefly put out a um, to briefly put out a thing water bucket is that not? No, okay. So, yeah, so that's working. It's going to spit out a lot of pink slime, but whatever. So you need to briefly spit out a water bucket to get rid of the grass. That way more things can spawn. So if you put this right here, Let's see. It'll do that. Let's see how that does. Will things spawn while there's water over it? No. As soon as the water's gone, everything spawns. Okay, so that's too that's too soon. So delay. Let's go here. Duration of one. Hmm. It's actually working pretty good. Yeah, it's actually working decent. So I'm going to up that to 200 ticks. Now the only bad thing about it is it takes 200 ticks for it to put down water. Then it takes 200 ticks to take it back. So that's the only problem. See? While the water is there, nothing spawns. Yeah. So now I need to come in here. Now, this is my Wither Skeleton Farm, by the way. So Wither Skeleton Farm is being fed by the Jelly Babies, and the only way to get jelly babies is to put XP into the solidifier and then it makes them so uh, these things actually don't go by that fast so I've got 2,449 wither skeleton skulls now so these two are full I don't need any more of them 
And yeah, there's 370 buckets of that in there. Now all of the swords that's being collected off of this is being filtered to the trash. So like if I get a sword, and I put it in here, it's going to be sucked out into the trash. Now, if I come over here, I've got a lot of items that are backing up. So let's get a... Let's see, what am I... It's probably the... Uh, collector. Give me an item collector. Into a chest. And we'll just have it like that. So, chests. Item collector there. Decrease that. Let's see. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, now everything's getting fed into here. So I'm gonna get a bunch of seeds too because you know you're taking uh the water and then you're breaking the grass. So Let's see, 200, yeah, so it is working. So pink slime, I have a feeling will go up to the top eventually. So I need to figure out a way to take all of this stuff and pipe it down. Or I can just put a bunch of drawers. That's probably the best way to do it. I could just have it trash everything. Because all I'm really after is... Uh, I can get Wither Roses. I don't need that. Um, yeah, I mean, I can just send it, send it to trash. Uh, this so if I did so if I did this so trash can here and then boom Oh, double clicked. Now all of this is going in there. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about the drops now. So, cool. Now all of these are still being killed. Yeah. Getting pink slime, getting meat, getting more pink slime though. See, 258 buckets worth of pink slime now. So. Yeah, I'm going to go repair my armor and this stuff now. So, yeah, let's go repair my armor. Actually, do I have it in my inventory? Nope. It's a powered anvil. With the powered anvil, you can repair anything that you have, which is crazy handy. See? Does it a little slow, but I can handle that. And armor. I've got I've got a pretty good amount of enchantments on block reach. Oh, that's probably what does it, huh? Yeah, it is. Wow. Okay, block reach. I was wondering why I could reach so far. Look at this. So if I take the chest plate off, I can't reach that far anymore. 
Yeah, okay. That makes a lot of sense now. So the block reach, I can reach way over there. So like if I want to put a torch on that block, boom, all the way over there. That's nice. Okay, let's put these back. Now I need to charge this, not really, but wouldn't hurt, right? Okay. How's this doing? 45,000 soul sand. 8,000 stone, 131,000 glass. Not too shabby. Okay, I want to try to move everything from over here, over here. Um, I'm going to do this setup later. So let's just start moving stuff. Okay, sorry, but that's all gone. Get another drain. Seared faucets. Okay. So let's just put everything in the system. Then I'll worry about that later. Probably should have done that with Silk Touch, but... Yeah. So let's start tearing this place down. Okay, sorry chickens. Okay, I'm probably going to end up changing bases at least another two times now. <laughs> Everything out of there is clear. Game froze. So this is kind of the reason why I wanted to do this, because my game keeps freezing. I mean, most of it is because of the subpar computer, but, you know. Can I do this without losing all my hunger? Nope. <laughs>
Okay, so the less amount of strain on the computer, the better, right? So I'm gonna leave the farms for right now. That's so rough trying to figure out what to take and what not to. So, I need to tear all these down. I know I'm going to regret it, but... Okay, the water and lava generation can stay for right now. Let's go ahead and disconnect these from the platform. Just so whenever I start vein mining it's not gonna go anywhere. I didn't break nothing, I didn't want to. Okay. Actually, probably should just break from the top. Everything disconnected besides this and this. Goodbye. Cool. Power is going to stay, obviously. I need to set up um, my batteries in a different spot. So all these are full. Yeah. So I've got 2.6 billion RF here, just in those cells. I need to set them up in the new base before I do anything else. Okay. Cool. Since these are doing literally nothing. Okay. Now I've got my lava production in here, so I don't need to get rid of that. Okay, so now I can move these. I can take all this off. Cool. Let's pick these up. figure out a good spot for these batteries. Probably right here, honestly. We're in the middle. Yeah, I'm thinking about the middle. So if I did... If I did this... Whoop. I 
Oh, it does get rid of the power. Interesting. So, 2.6 billion RF gone. That's okay, I can get it back. Okay, let's get the wand. Oh, I can't because they're not the same thing. Right, okay. Nice. See, I got five left. There's that. So now that can hold the all the power. Wait a minute. Okay, I was going crazy for a minute. I was like, wait. <laughs> you can't see none of it. But yeah, you will eventually. So this can hold 2.6 billion RF now. Okay. We'll come over here. Everything is here that needs to be here. Soul sand production. I wholeheartedly believe 49,000 soul sand is plenty for right now. Water production is going to go way down because of these guys. Okay. So 47,000 soul sand is plenty. Now obviously I lost all the soul sand now, so I need to put this somewhere on the system. The only place that I know where for right now is here. So now I have 50,000 soul sand. Nice. Let's get rid of all this. Okay, what time is it? 4 a.m. Should be able to sleep. Sort of things I don't really want to get rid of right yet.
Let's see, since I have no more reason to be down here, I can take this off. Where did my... There. Alright. Latex, I can probably... get rid of... Don't want to break that. You ready for the lag? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, we'll come over here. And have that be imported. So one of these isn't working now. Don't know. So I need to try to take all this down now. So I can set it up later. Yeah. I really don't want to. Let's shut down the shut down the seeds first. Oh boy. It's gonna suck. All the water cans are gonna be crazy. Yep. <laughs> Got a few watering cans. Let's get some blocks. This is painful. All my stuff is gone. Ish. Not yet, but getting there. Alright, so the farms are down. Only things left is the barrels. Or not the barrels, the dra uh, drawers. I worked so hard on this farm. 
and it's all gone. I can take down this. Now, I don't know where I'm going to put all these drawers at. All right, let's get rid of stone bricks. I'm probably just gonna leave it, um, leave these towers here, just so I have all the stuff in the system still. But as of right now, my resource production has been deleted. Looks a lot different without <laughs> stone bricks. But everything's coming down. So I guess first off, let's get rid of this. I think I should get rid of the sieves first. All the sieves are gone. Actually, I probably should just use this to my advantage. This is going to be fun to sit back up. Sit on the cable. Yeah, I knew there was going to be a bunch on there. Okay, no more resources at all until I set them back up. Oh boy. So I've still got my auto crafting for the Supreme stuff. Oh. Which I'll keep that until it's like, until I need to. Now there's power. Power's still doing good. Yep. Lava. Water. Now let's start setting it up over here. Uh, I need to firstly remove this. Remove my AFK spot. That I've had for a very, very long time. Okay, here's what it looks like. Let's get rid of these. Let's make some disk drives. Hmm. Actually, you know what I could do? I could come over here. I'm not going to have network over here, but it'll be okay. So, no more network over here, right? Yeah. 
So I gotta run all the way back over here. Let's just let's just do it. So I need a controller first. So I can have power. Let's get a data card and a transfer node. Let's see. Let's get controller there and GPS on it. Let's get rid of this. F7. A lot of places for mobs to spawn in here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the roof. Like that. You see that? See how they're... This thing is placing lights all around. See? So in, in theory, one lantern should be able to light up this whole place. I'm gonna help it, but in theory, oh, that just did it. So I'm gonna get rid of these. Hopefully, no mob spawn. So that this guy right here should be should be doing it. Okay, let's go hook it up to power. Boom. Okay, that's got power. A lot of these are not working now. <laughs> this hurts. Like it physically pains me. Alright. I can set my smelters down. Let's get rid of this. Oh, I just get rid of the. Let's get rid of the main power. So, not long now. So let's just go ahead and start moving. Uh, I'm gonna take all of these and that drive, that one, and this one. So we'll start with them three. We'll try to figure out where the cables are. Boom. Then I want a place for these discs. Oh my gosh. What are you? <laughs> that was probably the most scared I've been. Uh, needs to hurry up and put one there. So I kind of want these discs to be in the wall, if I can. Let's put some discs in here. Okay, let me jump outside. So these guys need to be hooked up to the cable. And then be fed into this. Through somewhere. Probably underneath going towards them so I'm gonna knock a hole over here so if I did this two because I'm gonna fill this spot with batteries you know what I could do? No, I can just set up a network Mm 
network, 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 network. Um, I can do it with a network. So let's set this up right here. Okay, how are you still doing on power? Nice. Network transmitter. We're going to set the transmitter here. Receiver, we'll put over there. So, network card on the receiver. Let's come over here. So, network. Hmm. I need the transmitter here. So we'll do transmitter here. Then we'll do receiver out there. Where did I put these? I know I put them in the wall, right? Right here. So let's put a receiver here with a network card linked to you. Put a torch on top. And now, if I come over here, network card in there. Now these should be on. Yes. See, almost done. I want to have fluids over here. Uh, if I can. So let's get all the fluid. Yep, so that's all the fluids. Now I've got it set up. Let's have a piece of glass. Off the controller, we'll have, let's see, we'll have crafting monitor. And then we'll have huh. See, well, let's get a cable, and then we'll have no, because that wouldn't do it either. Let's see. Let's have crafting monitor, pattern grid, crafting grid fluid grid. So crafting grid. JEI synchronized. You're still working. Medium. JEI synchronized. Let's get some patterns. I have patterns and put that in there now this guy yeah needs to that now you're set all right uh, let's start getting the rest so I'm almost fully moved in with this part
Okay, no longer do I have anything important. So, let's just go ahead and disconnect these. I am going to have to remove all these. Make sure I don't run out of room. Okay. So I think I'm full on stuff, so we'll come back over here. Let's dump everything in. Let's go back. Man, this sucks. Floating bed. Oh boy, I guess I can leave this part not chunk loaded. I'm not moving this. This is staying right where it's at. We'll have this at the top. Loading just that. Let me make sure nothing's sticking out of the chunk. This is, so I have to move that up here somewhere. But as of right now, I can do this. I'll do that. So three by three around this thing. All right, let's do the painful part. Let's do all of these. This might take a minute. Let's see, crafters, I'll have over here. So, speed upgrades, speed upgrades, just chuck in whatever. I got two of them. One bone to three bone mill, one bone to three bone mill. Yeah, I don't know why there's two. Put all that up. Let's go back and grab more. Looks like I can only grab two and then some change. Let me put some speed upgrades in these. So I'll go ahead and put speed upgrades in all of these. That way I don't have to worry about one of them being faster than the other. Auto crafting definitely makes the job easier. It's 
So yeah, I'm moving into a big box. Which is okay, I guess. Hopefully to be a little more friendly on the computer. Okay, they're all set. Cool. Whole auto crafting system is out. What's next? Cobblestone? Okay, it does save the contents. Same with these. I'll worry about the drawers here in a few. Okay, now, since this whole place is gonna be like the system parts and stuff like that, I want these drawers to cover this whole wall. So, let's start doing that. But I want to I want to set these up right like they need an external storage on the back but they also need a way to input right so maybe Maybe they go through like this. So they'll have a space in between. Okay. Let's get a bunch of drawers. So if that's like that, or I could just put drawers in the middle, that's probably what I'll end up doing. So I've got quite a few drawers. So if I did this, then I could have an external storage on the back 
but I also need a way to put the things in to like give it stuff. So I can set it up with uh, item nodes. I forgot all about those. So I can put as many as I want on here. I'll just have them wirelessly send items. You, so there's nothing in there. Can go. Let's get some more drawers. We'll have cobblestone on the bottom. So sort these out. Which one takes normal cobble? You. So you're first. Then It takes normal to so one to two. This takes two to three to four. So you're next. This takes four to five to six. Six to seven, eight. Seven, eight, nine. Cool. We got two more. What's in here? Oh, the controllers. Speaking of which, I do need one. I can just send items to the controller. Yeah, we'll try that. Okay, I want to move a couple of these. Okay, so we'll get some regular drawers, we'll put them there. Don't look quite right. Drawer controller I'll have in the corner right here. Then I'll have trim. Here and here. As soon as this connects up, then that'll recognize. Let's get some drawers. So let's connect it all up. Boom, boom. Okay. Key, let's test it out. Lock. Now they're all locked. Let's unlock them. So they're all in. Okay. Oh, forgot about that. Yep. What?
all locked. Yep. Now, let's go get all of these. So let's start with all the seeds. We'll do essence first. so glad these things save their contents. It is really nice. Okay, let's continue with Essence. We're going to have just a whole wall of Mystical Agriculture Essences. I forgot I had this. So I can literally just Yeah. Let's go sort all this out. All right, so I'm gonna need way more space than that. So I might have to have two walls of mystical agriculture. In that case, I'm gonna start over here. piece of trim going in between. Drawer controller. We'll have another drawer controller over here. Some trim. Alright, let's start with this, shall we? Let's put them all down. Okay, so far, all seeds. So I guess we'll have the seeds here and the essence here. So instead of having to break these and place them back, we'll just do it this way. No. Why are you being annoying? Fine. I'll break and place every one of you. So I know they're all seeds, so I'll just start. Okay, let's get some of these. Let's pick the seeds out.
Should have been that one. Yep. Cool. All these are seeds. Still got more. Uh, right here. I know I didn't do that over here, but I guess I will. Okay, let me make sure everything is good. Yep. Let's do, so those are seeds. Probably should move them over here. Mm, no. So let's go ahead and start knocking out the rest of these. Start putting down the essence. Got a seed. Well, we'll weed them out. So let's get rid of these two. I have the perfect amount. What is this? Where can I put you? This is trim that needs to be there. All of these essence. Yeah. So if I take this out, it's still going to be connected to the drawer controller, so it should be all right. Cool. Wow, okay, that's quite a bit of stuff. Nowhere near what I need though. As I expand, I'll take these out. I'll leave the pillars because, yeah. Okay, now we're ready for ore. Where am I gonna put that at? Probably over here, right here, yeah. All right, let's go get the rest. These drawer monsters. So let's just find mine. Let's see where that goes. Cool.
leave the power because that's what's powering everything. Now I can start to sift out everything. So yeah. So let's put everything down. Is there a drawer controller over here? Yep. Yeah. So compacting drawers, I'll put it here. Okay, so there's nothing in these. Probably because I've already used them. Uh, here's all the chunks. That's got nothing in it, but it still held it, so it's probably those are probably just empty. Let's continue with these. That it? Yep. All right. So let's take really need an axe. Yeah. Give me this. So I'll put them away. I'll take the trim away. I want to try something real quick. Let me make sure this works. It should, but let's try. Lock. So it covers everything. Does not cover all of these because it's not connected. So let me do something over here. Trim, boom, unlock, lock, it should be locked now, everything unlocked, lock, cool, so I can put this back with a trim, now this guy might want to have a piece of trim right there, just just because. Okay, let's put give me that back. Put that up and start moving this stuff. Now we'll separate the ores from the blocks. So let's take lapis. Redstone. Glowstone. Coal. Diamonds for sure. Let's take this. Let's take this. Diamonds. Niter. Appetite. Flint. Nether quartz. Force gem. Emerald. Scrap.
Might as well take them all, right? Netherwart, Prismarine, Soul Dust, Gunpowder, Prosperity, Bone Mill, Sulfur. Leave all the seeds. Forgot tears. You can start placing. Okay. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of the empty ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, blocks, blocks, blocks. Let's see. Let's have compacting drawers on the bottom. Let's have you, you, you. I don't have any more. What are these? So let's get a key. Let's unlock all of these. Let's take these out. Okay. Now I don't have any more drawers. I have seven of these, which doesn't have anything in them. How's the meat doing? 21 buckets. Nice. I've got 542 buckets of pink slime, which is nuts. How is this doing? Good. All of these are off at the moment. I know you don't need to connect them like this, but I'm going to. Now I can run this under. Boom, connected. How's this doing? Good, good. Don't know why they're not importing. It's because there's no more of that. Okay. So let's get a network again. Network card and a transmitter. Let's come up here. Down. And I'll set one right here. So now that's working. So this all should be draining. <laughs> yep. Same with this. Cool. Okay, let's get some drawers to plug that up. Lock these so nothing comes in them. Cool. So I've got a drawer wall here for my resources. And then I got a drawer wall here for the mystical agriculture stuff. Which is nice.
cool. Let's go and grab the rest. That's staying 100%, not moving. How's this doing? It filled up the 1,000 buckets of milk. Nice. This cow has a hat, by the way. A new hat. Alright. So, most of these aren't, aren't going, because no machines are on right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and capitalize on that. You're going. Okay, let's get all of these. This is a little bit of a pain, but oh well, I guess you can do that. Control click? No, shift control click. Nope, okay. Lost that one too. It's all right. Okay, now if I'm right, this guy is going to the system right here. Yeah, because that's the only thing that's possibly getting power right now. I do want to get rid of this giant line. But first, I need to get rid of this. Let's see, I have these to plug this up with. Now the lava. Now, since I'm not stupid, let's get some buckets. Since blazing blood is relatively difficult to get, we're not going to waste it. So that everything except for power and the wither farm is tore down. Now I can just start making rooms to set them back up. <laughs> so this is my AFK farm, I guess you could say. So now this thing's not going to be spawning anything else. Oh, I'll leave it on just because of level 118. Uh, I need to put a... I did. So let's get a... Where is it? Some stone bricks. Bam. Let's get some cables. And then I need some external storage. Okay, now here's what's going to happen. I'm going to set this drawer controller to external storage now I have skulls nice and now I need to set these drawers as well so I'll take an external storage on you 
on you. And I should just be able to run this cable all the way over. Okay, now I should have all my essence as well as seeds. Yes. Bam. And now I have all my ores, like coal and flints. Sweet. So let's make sure everything's working. Let's see, I have some cobblestone. I have one eight. Let's see, 400 and yada yada eggs, sure. Get rid of that. Let's do scrap, 333, 250. Okay, now let's do weather skeleton seeds. Gotcha. Nature essence. Okay. Redstone essence. Achi, we got everything. So let's get some more disk drives. Let's get one, two, three, four. Let's get five. Bam. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to set up auto crafting. So. Let me get these two with order, some cables, some crafters, and then that should be it. Get some speed upgrades. Right. Let's go up here for these. I'll have two furnaces here. And now we'll set importer and exporters. Exporters or importers on the bottom. Let me see if that does anything with the coal. Nope. So now if I click something like so then I have cables connecting that should export yep nice coal doesn't go anywhere then we'll have a importer on the back giving it coal no wrong one exporter and exporter on the back giving it coal. So now you should be getting coal. Yeah, so you're getting coal and then you're going to be importing whatever you spit out. So, so now you're getting coal. What if I did raw chicken back here? So if I did that, you're not going to Hmm. What if I did it all on one? So what if I did an interface? Out the back. So now you're going to be... You're going to be given coal. Right. You're not getting coal. Why? Does it have to be on the bottom or the top? Try the bottom. Bottom. Import coal. Nope. What about top? 
top, importing coal. Whoop. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Are you getting coal? No, you're not. What if I did importing coal? No. Nope. So it does look like I need to do it the rough way. Which I can hide these. This is probably favorable. Yeah, let me do that. I kind of want these seen though, right? Which I can go, I should have been able to go up. Okay, maybe not. So if I go over outside, go up top. Uh, I can have them up top or I can have them down here. I kind of want them down here. Right, I don't know. So this gets, and this is going to have to be really bad looking, but at this point, I don't care. So I want this thing to sit right here. So let's set them right there, right? Let's have, it's going to be exporting coal so now you're getting coal yep exporting coal cool those don't need an upgrade is there a f no like cable camouflage or something no it's no big deal. So there's that. And then through the back, we'll be importing not coal. So let's put a piece of coal in here to blacklist. So now you can't take coal away from it. And if we put raw stuff in there, you're not doing anything. Top, come at the top, maybe. So let's come out the top. Cable. I had this thing set up. I don't know how I did, but... So you're getting fed coal. And you need to get fed other stuff. So let's... You also need to... I had this thing set up. I don't know how I did it, but importer, importer. All it's doing is taking the coal out. So what if I did exporters on the back and then importers on the bottom? Are you still take it? Okay. So exporters will give the thing coal. Okay, so if I take that out, you're getting coal, getting coal, and then importers will put some speed upgrades in it, and if I give it anything raw, you're being 
put it in the system. Finally. Okay, so let's get some chunks. I don't have any in the system yet. So that's really all I wanted to do. So I can come over here, smelt whatever I want to smelt. And then be super set. Okay. Is that going to bug me? That little window there? Maybe. Maybe. I could have had it going out the bottom, but this is glass, so. All right, now I can hide that in the system. Is this doing almost to a thousand forty three buckets? So let's get this. So meat with any kind of ink it. Not too shabby. These guys. I forgot to put these in there. Uh, uh, six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, oh, I did not. Now I've got chunks. Yep. So if I said to export, or well in this case import, these, wait a minute. So if I said to import this, no, because you can't you can't smelt this, can you? Yeah. Okay. So exporter chunk. It's in there. Why are you not? Hmm. You really need fit into the top, don't you? So if I did some more exporters or the cable. And if I did this, yeah. So let's put some speed upgrades in that and this importer speed upgrades speed don't need speed in these so that looks a little different now so now I can come over here and say hey I want uh, I want raw chicken fed into the system, then I can do it. So let's get the redstone furnace going while I'm here. Redstone furnace is... Which one is upgraded? Just this guy. So... Give me 10 of them. Okay, let's put one in here, one in here, take that out. 
Amplifier, need those. Four might be good. That'll work. So let's have that. Okay. Now, these things are game froze. Shocker, right? So now these things are fully upgraded. Now I need these things coupled with a couple crafters. So I need to go through here and make sure these aren't So, yeah, so I need to go through here and make sure none of these are processing. Processing, processing, processing. So that's all processing. Now we can set this up. Let's get a redstone cell. Here's where it begins. Make sure you're fully upgraded. Yep. So. Let's see. Where am I going to put these? The machines are over here, so might as well do it over here. Right? I can use this wall for that. I want to put as much as I can up here. That way, down there will be better. All right. Redstone furnaces set to this. Get my wrench. Export, you should be getting power. Yep. Probably should do a different energy cable. Like that. Or this, probably this. Yeah, that's quite a bit better. So I'm trying to see what would be better here. Let's get some cables. Because I need these cables to be connected here. Now I have this one set up to input a raw advanced processor. So let's make 10. As soon as it recognizes it's in the system. Actually I can make advanced processors, right? So if I do only craftables, if I make 10 start, this guy should be getting, or this guy? One of them. No machine found. That's because it should be set to input. Okay, I'm gonna put some speed upgrades. Speed upgrades are like the best. So, speed upgrades in those. So now there's 10. So now since there's 10 in there, I need it to export 
can't export out there, so it's going to export at the bottom. With some importers. No, exporter. No, it exports from the system, right? So it needs importers. Boom, bam. So now that should be exporting into the system. So let's look. Processor. I've got I've got a bunch, so I'm not gonna worry about that. So there's that. It gets smelted and then gets imported. So I'm gonna put some speed upgrades in here. Boom boom boom. So now I have automatic smelting of really anything I want to, like the chunks and stuff. And then here I have auto crafting set up for the processors. I need to get these out and see what these are. That's just a regular pattern. So these I need to save so I can throw them away. Yeah, so let's do the distillation chambers. Now that I want to move down here because I've got a lot of room here. That's still killing. Does not look like it. Why is your... Why are you not killing? Yeah, why are you no kill? Oh, you're out of power. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. All right. So that thing's out of power. Was out of power. Now it's good. So let's figure out a way to do the dissolution chambers. Let's get some crafters. Let's get the dissolution chambers. Let's get some importers and exporters. Let's get 10 more. Get some cables. Let's get another cell. That's hopefully full on power. Yep. Let's get a data card. transfer node. I probably need to set this thing up to chunk load. So chunk load. Let's do this. So let's come over here and since this is its own chunk I'm going to put this here. So now you're being loaded. And then I'll come up here, and instead of it having a 3x3 three three area around this being chunk loaded, I can just chunk load this area. Bam. So now this is being loaded. Don't need to load unnecessary chunks. 
Okay, let's come back in here. Go down. Alright, I need to figure out a good spot for this. So let's do it in this corner. Flex sail in this corner. Let's get this powered. I'll have I'll have the power stay here for right now. Did I already put one? I think I did. Now that has power. Let's start setting these up. Let's get some blocks. Now, Okay, let's do that, and then we'll have crafters up top, like so. Okay. Now I need to poke a hole here. Run a cable down to it. I can actually cover this up now. Now if I connect, boom, all these should be green or blue. Yeah. So now these guys will have to export out the back or import out the back, I guess. Right? So you inputs through the top input top input top input top fluid outputs or fluid input should be the same outputs is the back which it should automatically just do that. Let's get some add-ons in all of these. Go speed. Oop, not like that. Processing and efficiency. Now these just these really just need speed. Okay, so yeah, we'll just have speed on those. Now we'll, let's see, import out the back. Okay. Don't need any speed upgrades on them. So this will do that. So let's get some patterns. All right. Now, this guy in the far side will be in charge of bottled wither. Right. No, that needs to be in a centrifugal separator. Oop, separator. Yep. So you are upgraded fully. We'll replace you with this. Then I'll get rid of these. Import through the top, export through the back. Right, yep. And then up here we'll do bottled wither. So let's try that. So input a bottle the wither once you're done, and then you'll export out the back. Um, 
the gas and that. So let's do this first. Let me make sure this is pulling items and fluids. Hmm. That's just a regular pattern. Okay, so this guy will be in charge of the mycelial reactor is already done. Don't need to make that anymore. This guy will be in charge of the Supreme. This guy will be in charge of advanced. This guy will be in charge of that. Inputs a bottle with their outputs force flask and ether gas. So that goes in here. So this will do this. Yeah, so that'll be that. And that should be it. So this exports ether gas and the force flask. Hmm. Let's just do this. Import fluids. I'm not going to like it, but it'll be alright. So now it'll import the fluid, the ether gas, and it'll import the bottle. Yeah, it's going to look bad, but uh, I guess it'll be alright. Oh, that's cool. Climb any vertical surface or surface. Missing scoot. Oh. Eh. Can I make a turtle egg? Nope. Turtle bait. Sea pickle and sea grass. How do you make a sea pickle? Don't even worry about it then. Okay, that should be it for those. So now if I wanted a bottled wither. Start. So this guy. Nope, this guy. Yep. So this guy will start doing that. It's got liquid meat and all that stuff in it. So once it gets the bottled wither made. Yep, yeah, exports to here. No, nope, I have the wither now. Okay, so now if I do this, bam. Hopefully it gets rid of the flask and the and the gas. Yep, both are gone. Sweet. This guy's still moving along. This guy has stopped. He goes, yeah. All right then. So successfully moved 98% of the base over to here. On the outside, it does look dirty, but I'm not gonna worry about it. So let's get a builder. Builder, builder, builder with a lever. It's just let's go out here. So there's two. Hmm. We'll go three, four, five. 
then this room would be pretty big. So let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We'll do fifteen. Whoops. There's that, and then there's 15 blocks out. So, builder down. Give me this. We're going to go with a sphere hollow. It's going to be a 25 by 25. And let's see it. So, that should match up. I need to go down one. Might be able to do a 27. 27 by 27. Hmm. What about a 29? I want to keep it odd so it has a center block. 29, I want it to match. I want it to meet this place. Okay, so it doesn't. What if I did a 35? What if I did a 35 by 35? Okay, that goes a little far. 35, let's do a 30. To thirty one by thirty one. That works. So thirty one by thirty one will need four hundred and forty blocks, but it's going to be solid. So seven hundred. So I we'll have a chest there. Boom lever on the side now we need to find a block to do it with stone brick is my first thought quartz and rich iron was my second keep with the theme of it so let's do some quartz Only need seven hundred, I brought a thousand. Go. Cool. Appreciate ya. So that should be middle. That's a big circle. Okay, so this will be one piece to the factory. Okay, I really need to do that on each side. So let's do that. So there's two, three, four, five. And then do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Go down one. Break. Break. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. You. Over here. Builder. Perfect. 
Does it interfere with this? Almost. Boom. Diamond chests. Energy. And go. Oh, I don't have any blocks. Duh. Duh. Now go. Cool. Appreciate you. That should be middle. Yep. Do that, that, this. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Building for the lazy guy. Oh, that works too. And then we'll do some quartz. Go. Love it. Now we got four circles on the outside of the base, of the square base, right? 
So now I can go through each of these. Let's get a sign for each corridor. Do I have any? Now this is 1.6 or 1.16. So it's not going to have any glowing signs. Okay, I don't know what to do with the walls, which I'll, I'll figure that out. But I think this is good. So I moved the whole base, or 98% of it, right? Moved 98% of the base into this spot. And it is all chunk loaded. See, right up here. So I actually need to. Need to do this. Now everything's chunk loaded, including the circles. And then that's got its own chunk. That's got its own chunk. So power is still going, which hopefully I can get a bunch of these cells right here to, uh, I'm going to encase this whole thing up to the glass and then just run it down. And hopefully it'll be like a whole, whole thing of just power cells. That would be really, really neat. As soon as the, that's gone, those start. Yep. Cool. And let's look at fluid. 1.1k pink, 56 liquid meat. Nice. I'll come over here. Let's see if I can get some. Let's see. I need to go to the pattern grid and make one of these. Okay, I'll set this on one of these. Bam, so now can I make nine of them? I can. Start. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, sweet. So I don't have to worry about fluid for a while. I can hold sixty five point four million now, so all right. So yeah, I'm actually happy about the base now. So I mean, this is still a cube, so I'm not worried about it too much. That's going to continue to go. Uh, I'm going to start AFK in on this. So create that and get more wheeler skeleton skulls. Alright, I'm going to let this go, and uh, I guess we'll see you next one. Next one I'll try to put the walls on and then have its own little designated area for stuff, like a smeltery and stuff like that.
So and then we'll start working on the tasks. So let's see about the tasks real quick. Make a squid ink farm. Not yet. Almost. Pink in the power. I actually, yeah. Because I've got the, the pink generator. Create power from three different fuels. Yep. Automated farm. Nope. I mean, I've automated the farm, but not with the gathering sour. One million cobblestone. Three different types of experience farms. Not yet. I've got two. So, not three. Nope. Collect five blaze spawners. No, I've collected one. Fill a dirt chest, 9,000. Nope. Cookie from a cookie jar, I can do that real quick. Measure the length of your base with a tape measure, I can do that. I made a bacon farm. <laughs> Use a refined storage crafter to auto craft a 64k storage disk. Can do that, but it needs a storage disk. So, let me go do that. So yeah, those those pile up pretty quick. So if I come over here, I do 64k storage disk. Now I have it. Boom. So I can check that one off. So 64k, go to the infinite dark, did that. Craft an infinity construction one, did that. 20 unique flasks, nope. 10 heart containers from Cyclic. Oh, these. These are gonna suck. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Unbreakable Tinker's Construct tool, nope. Kill the wither, yep. Kill the dragon, yep. A great enchantment table for level 60, no. Entangle two blocks together, no. That's in the trophy room. Nope. Automatically craft an October compressed cobblestone. Fill 10 64k fluid store discs, each with a unique liquid. You crazy. Increase cobblestone production to faster than 10,000 cobble per second. Network transmitter receivers to access your fast storage from another dimension. Can do that. Kill the wither. That spawn out of a chance cube. Nope. Kill the wither. Yeah. Run an ore laser base. That's kind of. Run an ore laser base from industrial foregoing with 100 laser drills. <laughs> Filled with tier 2 speed and efficiency. <laughs> Fight and kill two bosses at once. Technically, I've done that. Alright. So, next time I'll try to do a bunch of other stuff. So, I'm going to AFK here until my XP is out. And, uh, yeah.